Are you a qualified pharmacist hoping to work overseas but confused about the destination? Worry no more. Hello everyone, welcome back to Academically. Today in this video, we are going to take a cross-continental trip to examine the PEBC in Canada and the CAPS in Australia, two of the most well-known pharmacy license tests. Stay tuned till the end and decide your career wisely. Before we begin, I would like to request you all to subscribe to our channel if you want to receive all the important pharmacy information through our videos directly to your notification center. Let's begin. In Canada, pharmacists pursuing licensure take tests conducted by the Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, which is the PEBC. Whereas in Australia, the Knowledge Assessment of Pharmaceutical Sciences, which is the CAPS exam, is conducted by the Australian Pharmacy Council and it is mandatory for accreditation as a pharmacist. Coming first to the White North side, that is the Canadian Pharmacy exam. The PEBC exam is mandatory for pharmacists to obtain authorization and start practicing in Canada. It consists of qualifying exam parts 1 and 2, the evaluating exam and the final part OSCE, which is the assessment of practical skills in a clinical setting. Now, you must be wondering if you are eligible to take the test or not. Follow along to find out the eligibility criteria for PEBC. Bachelor's degree in Pharmacy, PharmD or BPharm from a recognized institution. Proficiency in either English or French evaluated through IELTS or TOEFL. Hands-on training with a certified pharmacist and compliance with document evaluation process of PEBC. So this is the eligibility criteria for PEBC. Moving further in the corner is CAPS. It is a pathway for skills assessment outcome to get registered and start working as a pharmacist in Australia. Coming on to the exam structure. This exam includes part one, the MCQs questions delving deep into pharmaceutical sciences and part two, which is all about putting theory into practice, navigating clinical scenarios with real life patients. Excited to find out the eligibility for Australia? The CAPS exam requires a pharmacy degree outside of Australia. However, if you ask us, we feel that CAPS is a much easier pathway to migrate abroad and practice pharmacy at ease. Let us now have a look at various aspects to be considered before migrating to Canada or Australia as a pharmacist. Check out the table on your screens. And there you have it, a comprehensive comparison between PEBC and CAP. Remember to choose your option wisely, taking into account all the aspects mentioned above. Time for a personal opinion. The PEBC pathway is quite expensive with the long duration, making it not the first choice to immigrate. Also, the weather conditions in Canada are not ideal to sustain easily. On the other side, the CAPS pathway in Australia is shorter, less expensive and provides an easier transition to permanent residency. Whether you are considering your options for overseas practice or making up your mind for one of these tests, Academically is here for you at every step. Visit our website for more information about our exclusive courses for CAPS and PEBC preparation that can help you excel in your journey. The links are added in the description. Contact us today to book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with our experts and discover your chances to land your dream career overseas. Also, ask our expert for a scholarship option especially curated for you. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.